I'm Tom Segura. I'm Christina P. I'm Rob Eiler. I'm Jamie Lynn Sigler. I'm Dr. Drew. I'm Lauren Compton. I'm not in the show. For real? And this is 69 Minutes. If you give us an hour, you'll miss nine minutes of our program. What's up? It's Tom Segura and I'm bringing my tour Come Together to Los Angeles for the Netflix is a Joke Festival. I'll be at the Kia Forum on May 9th. Tickets go on pre-sale this Thursday, December 14th at 10 a.m. Pacific with the code TOMMY before the general on sale Friday. Get your tickets and all info at netflixisajokefest.com and tomsegura.com slash tour. Do you know what Sniffer's Row is? No. Uh, no. Could you tell Sniffer's me? Sniffer's Row is the front row of the strip club. Wow. Where you can smell the pussy. Yeah. Wow. I hey, remember Johnny. when they cut my dick off to turn into a pussy. I asked for it. <laughs> and they said that, that, that they, they said they weren't allowed to give it to me. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode is brought to you by Sattva. Go to sattva.com slash the shit to get $200 off your next order. And we yeah. are back. What are you giggling about? Because I just like being in December. Yeah, you do? Yeah. I do too. What do you like best about the Sattva? I like I liked the Christmas season. I like the holiday. I didn't know that about you, actually. How did you not know that about You've me? You've never expressed any sort of joy or satisfaction I didn't know that. No, I swear to God, in all these years, like 20 I years. I have expressed joy and satisfaction at being in the Christmas You've season. You've never clearly said I enjoy this, this Well, holiday. most people can pick up on other cues, you know. All right. <laughs> they don't have to go like, I enjoy the Christmas season. Well, I just enjoy it. I last, like it. Last night I made our Christmas village, yeah. which I do every year yeah. in our living room. And I, I didn't feel any sort of any sort of way from you. Oh. You, were, you were absolutely indifferent. Didn't even compliment. And I've been working on this village for years. The village I've is perfected great. the village. It lights up. It moves and twirls. Not so much as a great village, babe. So. Great village. <laughs> I really like it. I do. I like, you know what I like the most though about the Christmas great village, babe. No, I'm, I'm serious. I like the way you feel. Like the holiday, the Christmas season, I think makes everybody feel better. It makes you feel better about life. Yeah. It's joyful. It's like you, you feel more gratitude. You know, I, I think you like you, yeah. you, you're thinking about other people. That's the first you know, for you. Like definitely. First time in my life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> every December for a week I go other people and then that's it. And then back to normal. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. I like it. Do you want me to bum you out about Christmas? Not really. Okay. So my dad one time said this to me and like, it totally made sense and it'll bum you the fuck out. I just want to, Okay, he goes, you know why they made Christmas, right? And I'm like, why? He's like, well, because it's cold outside, it's depressing and snowy and shitty. So they make something nice in the middle of winter so that you don't feel so depressed. Hmm. And I was like, Did that kind of that kind of makes sense. Oh, it does make sense. Is it 100% true? Is that why? I mean, look, the biblical count, like Jesus was born whenever. In the spring. I don't fucking yeah. know. Why JC is he? was born in the spring. Yeah, because like I don't remember reading about snow in the Bible. It wasn't like, oh shit, they were walking and there's all this snow. No. So like, maybe my dad's fucking right and it's a bummer. So there you go. Just the holidays. Well, the winter is depressed. a bummer in a lot of parts of the world. It's Most long, long, long and cold. Yeah. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. That Pittsburgh? Shit Pittsburgh. What about Pittsburgh? That's a long winter. You've ever fucking been That's in Pittsburgh place? in April? Uh, it's terrible. It's what? still snowing yeah. in April. I was thinking more like Arctic places, you know, like the Scandinavian places. The misery. And, yeah, it gets so, really cold there. I'm following on TikTok, um, the edge of the earth where people like live at the, what is it, the North Pole? Mm -hmm. You know, these people that live intentionally in the darkest places yeah. it's really fascinating because she's like it's the middle of november we are about to lose all of our light during the day and yeah, i can't wait i'm so excited i'm like what the fuck are you excited about yeah i stay inside by my fire with my dog we go for a walk where there's some mild light between noon and 2 p.m <laughs> it's dark they love it some people love it yeah I can't imagine. No, I can't imagine wanting that. That'd be a cool thing to experience for a day or two. Be like, wow, this is like what this is like, you know, but yeah. to actually inhabit that, I don't think I want to be a part of that. Well, one time I went to Alaska to do a gig mm -hmm. in Anchorage in, a Jan in January. This is when I was really desperate for $500, clearly. Yeah. And I remember it being 9 a.m. on a Sunday and church bells were ringing and it was just jet black outside. 
And I had the opposite You're experience. Like, I went to Anchorage on tour and it was midnight and it looked like noon. Ew. And that was fucking crazy. Well, how, how, you know, you just like, you look up and it's just a bright sky. You're like, it's midnight right now? This is dude. nuts. But what's more fucked up for a human? The def definitely the dark. The, the dark. <laughs> definitely. Because <laughs> you're just like. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And it, it does play. It takes its toll on people. <laughs> of course. I'd be yeah. drunk all day. Yeah, I'm sorry. All night. Solitude and <laughs> depression. Drunk. Yeah. Look outside. Like, it's still dark out. Yeah. <laughs> Even when I lived in England for a year, it yeah. was dark as shit. Yeah. And it got dark at like 430. Man, that's why they drink so much. Because they there's only like four hours of daylight. Yeah, it feels like, you know, nighttime. Yeah. Time like, to get yeah. ripped. Yeah. Fuck yeah, no. that, dude. I don't want that shit, dog. Nah. nah. Daylight's cool. Here, let's open this show. I got a great clip to show you. Cool. I think you're going to like it. That's <laughs> 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 perfect. Don't bring anyone mother Isn't that cool? Your mom in the fucking stand. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to yeah. your yeah. mom's house. I like that guy. I like that guy. Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina. Uh, and Christina. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> That's me in Alaska. <laughs> Is he a TikTok? Uh, he has a page where he just does shit like this. Yeah. This is oh. my scream. This is my. He's a know. TikToker, as I'm saying. I, I don't remember like if it's TikTok should've... or not, actually. Is he just a video? I feel I like I should know. know him. Igor. Oh. He's Russian. He's just, yeah, of course. Yeah. Ruskies. This is what he would do, by the way, to court you, too. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Good yeah. easy, uh, Come here. Ah! Uh, watch me yell. Yeah. Do you Igor. know? Wow. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Do you know I started weightlifting, not to brag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pushed around some weight today. It only, by the way, I, no. I mean, if they, I wish there was like a documentary <laughs> about this. For years, I've been like, good for you. No, nope. so, and you were like, Termina I don't want to look like some fucking dude. I don't. I don't want to become a lesbo. I don't want to look butch. I don't want to be heavy. And like, I just felt like it was just more dude culture. Yeah. I, I do enough dude the culture things. Stand up. Yeah. Stand up. I live with three dicks already, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's like, and you were like, why don't you want to do jujitsu? I'm like, because I don't want to smell guys' assholes in my face. And Sometimes their balls. they're nice. Sometimes they got nice balls. But I got a lady trainer. Yeah. Anyway, she was telling me how it was invented. These, uh, the Romanian, what the fuck, kettlebell, whatever, when you pull up the kettlebell, Romanian. Romanian deadlifts? Again, yeah. Okay. She said, or, or whatever, this lifting of heavy objects. She said it's mm -hmm. invented because these goddamn weird Ruskies were, um, you know, taking heavy bags of whatever mm -hmm. and taking it off of ships and putting it down or whatever. And she's like, these Russians basically developed a way to squat and use your butt muscles and properly uh, oh, pick lift up and move things. without hurting your yeah, back. Sorry, yeah, sorry, I'm delirious. I didn't sure. sleep a lot. Anyway, I thought that was fascinating. And that makes total sense that the Ruskies invented something like that. Yeah. Lifting heavy But more shit importantly, you're embracing there I am. some strength training. There's me. Right? Romanian. Yeah. I'm going to be I'm gonna be so strong. I'm very proud of you. Be the lady of your dreams. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Yeah. I'm going to start doing tea. That's awesome. You know what Shrink else I would tits. have been begging for years for? Let that leg hair grow. <laughs> Let that armpit hair grow. You know what I mean? <laughs> you love that. So hot. It's so hot. God, it's normal. It's normal. It's just healthy. This is normal. Jesus. Yeah. I feel like the chicks that have that too, especially on TikTok, they have to like make a big deal out of it. Of course. It's like, look at it. Like, yeah. bitch, okay. Just live your relax, life. You dude. don't have to fucking announce it. Nobody gives a fuck about you. I promise. You're yeah. the one. You're courting the drama. Yeah. Nobody gives a shit, bitch. Nobody gives a shit. Have you ever shaved your armpits? Have I? No, never. Would you try I think if I really pursued swimming, 
Feels nice, actually. Swimmers do that. Shave their yeah. whole bodies down so they're smooth like dolphins. <laughs> Does Michael Phelps shave his whole yeah, body? Yeah, whole body. Really? Absolutely. Wow. They wear the swim cap, cover any hair if they have hair on their heads, and then that's it. And no more hair anywhere. Yeah. Is pubes even, you think? I don't know. They don't, you know, your, your pubes are covered by that skin tight Speedo. Mm-hmm. But they, they have crazy bodies, those swimmers. I know. The upper part is very <sighs> developed. Yeah. Well, his swimmer, his body. Was yeah, he's like 6'7", six, seven. Six, too. Yeah, he's like, too tall, right, to be a swimmer? No, I think that's actually good. No. Yeah, and he's got like size 16 feet, so it's like he's got like flippers, you know. It's amazing. He was, he was designed for swimming. What if you had like a really huge dong mm -hmm. and your swim coach is like, you got to tape it, you got to tape it up. It's always gonna... where your mind goes. It's really <laughs> the only thing she ever thinks about. Oh. I mean... Well, I don't have one. I got to think about them. Yeah, no, I think about them too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got dicks on my mind most of the time. Yeah. yeah I'm just always like. Yeah. 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 Um, speaking of that. Yeah. Check this out. How old are you? 40. 40. Why did you say you were 35 in the chats? Eso fue un error en el momento de... Abrir la aplicación. Mm -hmm. Do you speak English? Más o menos. ¿Cómo se dice en español? <laughs> I want to suck and kiss all over your pussy until you squirt in my mouth. Hmm? <laughs> what did you mean by that? Hmm? He's hmm? a bastard. ¿Qué dice ahí? En verdad, no tengo You said that. <laughs> 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 That's so great. Dude, uh, what did you mean by that? My Chris, Chris then, Hansen, right? It's Chris Hansen, yeah. Then he, <sighs> so great. I like this part. He's the hmm? best. Hmm? Huh? You fucking so, bitch. So it, um, I saw this. Obviously, Chris Hansen was, you know, the he hosted to catch a predator, mm -hmm. and he's doing his own, uh, you know, version of that show now. Which I wish we had. The, do we know the name of it by any chance? What his show is called? Let me pull it up. Okay. And by the way, for those of you if you haven't been listening to YMH very long. Chris Hansen has been on he's our show. He's been on my age, yeah. And he's lovely. He's a lovely human. Takedown with Chris Hansen is what it's called now. So that's that's his. Oh, God bless Chris Hansen. Yeah. He's doing the Lord's work. Are you looking for a meaningful gift this holiday season that your loved ones will actually use and enjoy? Finding the perfect holiday gift for a loved one is a challenge every year, which is why I love Skylight Frames. It's such a unique gift and it's personal. And everybody can use it. It's so easy. Skylight is a touchscreen photo frame you can send photos to straight from your phone, and they appear in seconds. And it looks beautiful in your home. Photos are displayed in HD resolution. It looks like a real modern photo frame. Set it up in portrait or landscape, and the larger 15-inch frame can be wall-mounted. Swipe through photos, tap to see new photos sent, tap the heart button to say thank you to the sender. They're so confident that you'll love Skylight. They even offer free 120-day returns. As a special limited-time offer for our listeners, get $15 off your purchase of a Skylight frame when you go to skylightframe.com slash house. To get $15 off your purchase of a Skylight frame, just go to skylightframe.com slash house. That's S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T-F-R-A-M-E dot com slash house. Tis the season to skip the in-store rush. When the holidays knock, answer with DoorDash. Get holiday groceries and gifts delivered fast and enjoy everything you need for hosting and toasting. Make DoorDash your go-to for getting holiday gifts and ingredients right when you need them. You can skip the trip to the store with fast delivery so you can stock up on holiday groceries and home goods. Whether it's same-day delivery of gifts, groceries, or those last-minute party essentials, DoorDash has you covered. With thousands of grocery and retail stores available nationwide, you'll find whatever you need when you need them. As a Dash Pass member, you can enjoy exclusive offers and perks all season long on stocking stuffers, decor, groceries, meals, and more. You'll also get a $0 delivery fee and reduced service fees on eligible orders too. 
Order now and get the holiday help you need from DoorDash. Use code MOMHOLIDAY to get 50% off up to $10 value when you spend $15 or more at convenience, grocery, or select retail stores on DoorDash. Terms apply. So, uh, But hearing him say that brought back the memory of a, a few weeks back <laughs> when we had the senator <laughs> the reading the story. Um, I put some lube on and got him on his knees. <laughs> And I began to slide into him from behind. Yeah. I pulled out of him and kissed him while he masturbated. I'm throw up. <laughs> I know. It's like, kind of makes you want to uh, hear them together, you know? <laughs> I want to suck and kiss all over your pussy until you squirt in my mouth. I can't wait to have your <laughs> cock in my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> what did you mean by that? I'm going to give you the blowjob of your life. Hmm? This was my ass. Do you speak English? <laughs> I'm going to fucking throw up. Oh, I could listen to this all day. Uh, I know. You said that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's good stuff, right? <sighs> How I I think we can put a video together, too. He asked me to turn <laughs> over while he slipped a condom on himself. This was my ass, and I was struggling to imagine someone inside me. What did you mean by that? He got on top and slowly <laughs> inserted himself into me. <laughs> it was the worst pain I think I have ever felt in my life. Eventually, I felt a mix of pleasure with the pain. Hmm? I got a new strap home, strap on harness. Today. You know the word. Don't pretend. I can't wait to put it on you. It will fit my favorite dildo perfectly. <laughs> Do you speak English? I can't wait to have your cock in my mouth. You said that. I'm going to give you the blowjob of your life. <laughs> then I want you inside of me. Como se dice en español? <laughs> I want to suck and kiss all over your <laughs> pussy until you squirt in my mouth. Uh, <sighs> There's so much. I don't know what's funnier. Is Chris Hansen speaking total gringo Spanish? Yeah. He's like, como se dice? Como se dice? <laughs> I want to suck. And lick on your pussy until you squirt in my mouth. That's mm. how I speak Spanish. How mm. he does. <laughs> or the fact that they're angrily reading pornography. I think yeah. that's the best part. The senator the is senator acting is offended the, the entire the, time. The look at that look right there. He's like. Yeah. And you with your strap, this thing, strap like, on. Over the eyes. And he's like. <laughs> your cock in my mouth. Everybody hear that? <laughs> Try your strap on dildos. Up in my asshole, and it hurts. Is that a nice thing to say? <laughs> right. He's so scolding yeah. of the pornography. Like, shut up, bitch. You know you, you just, like You it. know that, that most of that room uh, is like, just keep reading, dude. Just keep, keep reading. Keep it's reading. so hot. This is the best. Yeah. yeah. Dude, you want teenagers to read. Yeah. That's how you do it. Yeah. Uh, my strap on. This was my ass. This was my <laughs> ass. I'm so mad about it. But fucking me, enjoying it. I do Pleasure not enjoy it. And pain. <laughs> Feels good, y'all. Who talks like that? <laughs> uh, oh, that's so great. Uh, oh my god. Oh god. This week, yeah. sixty-nine minutes. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to love Everybody it. Everybody so busted funny. their ass here. Yes. We've literally worked on this for four months. Yeah. Um, and it's finally coming out on Friday. Yeah. We're all going to be watching it at the same time. Uh, if you're, if you're going to watch, we'll be hashtag 69 minutes <laughs> on Twitter, on X, excuse me. X. And uh, we'll be posting stuff about it everywhere, but we're super stoked. We hope you join us. It'll be... Um, It'll be on ymastudios.com. Get your tickets, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you laugh your ass off. We laughed so much making this thing. Yeah. And everybody worked it. really, really hard. So thank you to everyone that participated. Thank you to the whole staff here. And, um, yeah, it's it's very, very exciting. It's very funny. There's a trailer out. You've probably gotten seen the messages about it. But 
please join us and let us know what you think. Try it out. Try it out. You're going to like the way you look. Um, I guarantee it. It's so fun. We put so much work in it. Yeah. It's did. really better than anything you're going to see. <laughs> it's great. It's so funny, dude. What is your, um, what? I was told your, what is it? Your, your vacation stuff. You wanted to show me something? <laughs> Dumb tourism. Oh, fuck, what bro. Is this? Listen, I've been so pumped to show this to you. Yeah. I've been purposely withholding. Yeah, I see a folder, but I've bro, not seen it. Bro, homie. So listen, it's this whole lane of TikTok where dumb Americans go to bad places as tourists. And by bad places, I mean any country ending in Stan. Don't fucking go to any Stan. Trust me. I've been to fucking Kazakhstan, <laughs> okay, okay. Uzbekistan. I've been there before I went to Afghanistan. It's not a good vacation spot? Yo. All these stands are post-communist dumps. It yeah. sucks so bad. They're so dangerous. Let's and see. these retards, hold on, let me tell you what they're planning yeah. on doing. <laughs> yeah. These fucking cracker dummies are going through like Turkmenistan on their way to Afghanistan. And okay. this is- Are you retarded? You're going to die. Okay. I mean, I was like- Let's see. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Do you not have parents? This is my least favorite city in Central Asia. Dushan Bay is the capital of Tajikistan. Tajikistan. You will find these poorly photoshopped pictures of the president on and inside every single building. No shit, dummy. Also, I've never seen more flags in my life. Almost every balcony has a Tajik flag. The bazaar was pretty nice, though. It had lots of tea, spices, cheese, and vegetables. The city itself is fine. It was very hazy during our stay, and we found the city did not have much soul or character. But maybe we missed something. If we did, let us know. Sorry, this is a very banal one. This yeah. one's just like a palette but it's also, sorbet. It's, I like that somebody made a video of like, here's my least favorite place I've been. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. they put like some music to it. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> here's something that sucked. Yeah, it's like, okay, whenever a country highlights the spices, you're and like- And the president. There's not a lot going on. I know, but when they're like his photos everywhere, that's that's always a sign that you're in a bad fucking place. Bad place. Yeah, because when it's mandatory that like, hey, top dog, his photo is everywhere. Yes, dog. That's a problem. It's scary. Like when I was in, it's uh, authoritarian. Yeah, hundred percent. That's, that's, the, that's by orders of the government. Of the put guy. these fucking pictures. Or the sheikh or whoever yeah. the like in Saudi yeah, and all yeah. these countries. That's what you yeah, see. Put his photo up. And He's in the, the stands, that's what you see. It's all right, not here's good. another one. Not good. This is how we got scammed and had a babushka a, try to kill us. Geez. These taxi drivers swarmed our car as soon as we arrived at the central bus station. Oh, fuck. These guys Idiots. are super aggressive for absolutely no reason. No, we explained to one of the drivers that we needed a ride to the border, not a city or town to the border, and he agreed. Four hours later, when we got to the city, we were 50 kilometers away from the border, and he told us to get out of his car. We shouldn't have paid him <laughs> until we got to our destination. We tried to get another shared taxi to the border and this babushka asked us for money. When we said no, she became angry, started swearing at us, <laughs> throwing rocks at us, and followed us. Eventually, some locals came and told her to leave. We couldn't get a ride to the border, so we got a hotel room near the bus station. Hopefully, we can get a bus in the morning. You can't. You're I not gonna. It's really interesting that there's just so many different types of people in the world <laughs> and that this is somebody's idea of a good time. Like, you know what I mean? Like... When somebody goes, what's vacation? They're like, I just like to be in dangerous places, you know? And I really like really dangerous yeah, places. Yeah, I like to feel threatened regularly. And <laughs> we're dumb Westerners are not welcome. The reason they're those men are like yeah, angry because they don't see people like you. Right, they're fighting yeah. over who's going to rob you first. Yeah. That's why dipshit. It's not. It's not a good place rich, to go. You're rich Americans. Of course, they're gonna get, get you. Get the fuck out of there, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're a I mean, and, idiot. and by the way, it's not a babushka. That's a gypsy, you dummy. Ugh. Those are gypsies. Don't be retarded. Yeah, yeah that's a, a gypsy. A a this cigano. is who we're warning you about. Gitanos de mierda. <laughs> They're everywhere. This is gypsy. Don't talk yeah. to gypsy. Yeah. That's what they do. Have fangulo, gitano. Yes, yeah. they're gypsies, bro. And like, um, yeah. Listen, the only reason I was in the stands yeah. was because I was with the military. Sure. And if I went out into... Um, Uzbekistan yeah. to look at it. It was, it was with like military personnel. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. These two ding dongs. Is there, is there another one? Yeah, there's another one. You're going to die. I, these two retards. Let's I go can't. on a road trip to Afghanistan. We refilled our water bottles. Is this the same well. broad? Yes! Seems like, so this is, this really is what they like it's to the do. It's the same couple yeah. and they want to go to Afghanistan. Gotcha. They want to see what's going on in the stands. 
and bought a few buckets of diesel. There are checkpoints all over this part of the country and soldiers will check to make sure you have the required permits. We decided to take a detour to see an abandoned Soviet observatory. The observatory was a little underwhelming, but the views from up here are incredible. Oh, Those yeah. are the Hindu Kush mountains There's a dirt in the distance. Hill there. Oh, the Hindu Kush mountains. Oh, yeah. I believe that's where Bin Laden <laughs> was hiding for over a decade. That's nice. This is the walk-on corridor, and for the next few days, we will be driving along this river. What? The river separates Tajikistan from neighboring Afghanistan. It started getting dark, and we got stuck behind this herd of cows. Mm. These roads are no joke during the day and are straight up dangerous at night. <laughs> Thankfully, we made it to the straight guest up. house safe and sound. Mm -hmm. Follow to see more of the Pamir Highway. Pamir, this is where the Taliban yeah, blows you Taliban, up, too. Yeah. There's IEDs on that fucking road, dipshit. Yeah. Taliban also will have a real fun time with a, a, a chick that's a, a Western chick who's you like, <laughs> Where are the best views? <laughs> They're like, oh, we got a place for you. Yeah, <laughs> it's really cool. Well, you know, you know. Wait, hold on. You mean that the Taliban won't respect her American mm. citizenship? Oh, you you're just looking to <laughs> check things out. Yeah. You, wait, you mean these people that. won't respect your fucking Americanness? You dummy. We are supported by Hostage Tape. Sounds completely insane, but it's true. It's called Hostage Tape. And it sounds like, uh, yeah, I mean, I can think of scenarios in which I would use it. That's probably what you're thinking. Like, yeah, there's people. But that's not what it's for. It's to shut your fucking mouth. Uh, you sleep better when your mouth is closed. It promotes nasal breathing, which is healthier and, of course, less disruptive. I sleep with it. I got the broad next to me to sleep with it. And we're happier. And we're sleeping better. And honestly... I wish I could give it to so many people to wear around the clock. I am, I'm a traveling, I'm on the road right now. There it is. I bring it with me, hostage tape. You put it over your dumb fucking mouth and then it doesn't open. You can still open your mouth and it comes off. Don't think it's like duct tape. Anyways, go to hostagetape.com slash mom and get you some. Keep that mouth shut. So I, it, you know what it is for me? It's the arrogance of Americans that think they can just go anywhere and do anything like yeah. don't you get it this is a really dangerous place dummy well i know people like her you do too i know and, oh i know and it, oh, i know there is this thing I know. here's the thing it's it's kind of like this appealing attractive quality in someone right until it's not yeah <laughs> and it's like you know what i mean it, it's it's this it's towing the line of i'm i'm a risk taker yes uh i'm fun i'm adventurous I'm not just scared of everything. And you right. go, oh, that's kind of inspiring. Someone who's not scared of everything. Someone who, who will seek things out. And you're like, yeah, and, and it all, it's all great until it turns dark <laughs> too early and you're lost. <laughs> and then really bad things happen. And then they go, she was really adventurous. <laughs> she was so adventurous. Yeah, she was so sweet. And then we she just... She made one big oopsie, and yeah. then they disemboweled her right. on the Pamir Highway. <laughs> the Pamir Highway. Yeah. Google Pamir Highway. What is this horrible place? I, I assure you, it's not a good place for tourists. No, of course it's not. This is this is somewhere nobody should be, unless you're the goat herder who fucking lives there. Yeah, yeah. This th these stand countries are awful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been to them I, as part of my duty as an American patriot entertaining yeah. our U.S. troops. This is the only reason I put myself here. It's the only continuous route through the difficult terrain of the <laughs> mountains and is the main supply route to Tajikistan. Tajikistan. Who the route cares? has been Awful. used for millennia as there are a limited number of viable routes through the high Pamir Mountains. The road formed one link of the ancient Silk Road trait route M41 is a Soviet road number, but it only remains as an official designation in post-Soviet Uzbekistan. That was confirmed by the official decree. Uh, what is that? Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan have passed decrees abolishing Soviet numbering of highways and assigning their own national numbering. These are awful post-Soviet countries. Yeah, that's just, I mean, it's, it's the worst. I'm sure it's it can be beautiful. I, I can see the beauty. I mean, like that is a beautiful shot. And that is, I'm sure that would be breathtaking to see in person. I'll just take the photo. But yeah, it's probably also some of the worst things you can imagine are possible on the Pamir Highway. 
you know, just running into the wrong group. Uh, literally running into a, a, a pickup on the, truck. On the only highway that yeah, exists there. For the Taliban. <laughs> yeah, for finding fucking yeah. people with machine like, guns. what's that in the distance? Dummy. There's a couple of guys on the back of that truck. I don't know what they're holding. Oh, it looks like it's a, a 50 caliber machine gun. Yeah. Here we go. Two American cyclists among four dead in Tajikistan. I claimed ISIS. by ISIS. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, you can take risks in America. There you go. There's lots of things you jump off. That's of what I'm saying. There's not going to be a final climb. video from that couple. No. You know, you're going to be like, how come they stop posting? <laughs> Where did they go? Oh, they wanted to see North Korea. I mean, they're definitely going there. Next. Of course, yeah. of course, there has to be there has to be a whole industry devoted to people. Hey guys, this city <laughs> is not exactly as inspiring as we had hoped for. It's very gray, and there's a lot of pictures of this short, chubby guy everywhere. But anyway, the food's all right, and it gets dark, and there's people tailing us, kind of going everywhere we go, <laughs> and telling us that we don't have much time left. We'll see how it goes next. Oh. <laughs> no more videos. Yeah. Pyongyang is surprisingly quiet. Come yeah. PM. There's like, not that like, much yeah. electricity, but it's cool. <laughs> there's uh, nothing to see, guys. I guarantee yeah. there's nothing to see in these countries. Don't go to these places. I guess this is just Don't all go. for the whole thing to go like. Don't do it. Oh, you won't believe where I've been. I think that's kind yeah. of like what this is yes, for. Yes, yes, yes. Right? Like, it's like when somebody does an extreme thing, like climbs Everest. And you're like, no shit. It's like that same reaction. Like, I was in... Afghanistan on chilling oh, on the Pamir. Yeah, yeah, but you're but there the for military. it's it really working. different. This is a I took a vacation is different. I think that's what it is w without proper protection and provisions. Mm -hmm. These things are not for lay people to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just what why do you got to why do you got to I don't know. I I, I prefer I, just you know, let's just I don't Hawaii. know. Man. Get into the Christmas spirit, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll stick my dick in pudding. I'll stick my dick in pudding. I'm <laughs> Dreaming of some white pussy. Oh, okay. Wrapped around <laughs> my big black dick. <laughs> love him. I love, love him. I love, I love him. the holidays. Me too. The holidays are where it's at. Why can't I be related to this guy? Yeah, I know, That'd right? Be fun. That's a good one. Yeah. I'll stick my dick in pudding. <laughs> Wild. I can't wait to have your <laughs> cock in my mouth. <laughs> hey, have they canceled Santa Baby yet as a song? Is that considered gross yet? I always yeah. thought it was weird to fuck Santa. I, th I think so. I think they've done like new versions of a lot of those like non PC. Can we see them? I'm Christmas curious. Songs. And What's I know. That? So, so there was that song Santa Baby, which was basically like, I'm going to fuck you, Santa, Ugh. if you give me presents. It was so gross. I always thought it was off. Wasn't and then, it's cold outside a bad then, one, too? That's a the one. one. Yeah. Baby, that's it's the one. outside. That's like, yeah. And then I they, really must go. And he's like, no, 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 no stay no, here. Stay it's here. <laughs> too snowy out there. I have a there. drink and I have a fire. Why don't you shut the fuck up while yeah. you're at it? Yeah. I think that's the version they cut the song Yeah. Down. You fucking stupid bitch. And then she's like. <laughs> that's the end of it. Is yeah, her head. And he's like. <laughs> And then you just hear this tear, and then he just goes, get the fuck out of here. He throws her out. Oh. She's like, it's freezing out here. Yeah. That's the version we and should record. you hear record. the door shut and the lock. Is it too late to add that? No, you can still it's add 69 it. 69 minutes. Yeah. It's a good closer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it might be. A little jingle. Oh, yeah, here we go. So these are the new lyrics for Baby It's Cold Outside. Oh, they have new lyrics? Yes. They've, like, rewritten it. Not as written. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Can you make it bigger? Yeah. We're... Huh. I wonder what they changed, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll tell you what they changed because I know there's. So it's, I really can't stay, baby. It's cold outside. I've got to go away, but like, I can call you a ride. That's added. That that's, used to be, hey, bitch, stay here. It's cold. It's too cold. <laughs> <laughs> He's convincing her, God, like, you can't so go out gross. there. This evening has been, I'm so glad that you dropped in. I don't know if that's whatever. So very nice time spent with you is paradise. That's not in the original, right? I don't know. My mom will start to worry. I'll call can the wait, car. Can you pull up the original lyrics next to it? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. I can't fucking see. Hold you on. Know, put your dad eyes on. Put my dad eyes Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, um, I really can't stay. Okay, that's good. I've got to go away. And so he says, oh, yeah. So baby, now it says, cold, time spent with you is paradise. It used to say, I'll hold your hands. They're just like ice. So he's yeah, warming he's you up. He's touching her already. My mom <laughs> will start to worry. Beautiful. What's your hurry? So he's already like, come on, baby. What are you, uptight, you stupid and bitch? And now it says, I'll call the car and tell him to hurry. 
So he's like, Uber's on the way. Sure. My daddy will be, hold on. My, my father, father will be pacing the floor. Listen, listen to, to the, the fireplace, fireplace roar. He's trying to distract. He's dis uh, distract you. And now it's, my daddy will be pacing the floor. Wait, what are you still living home for? Oh, okay. So it's like now he's at least addressing what you're saying. She's a as loser. opposed to distra yeah. distracting you. Yeah. So it used to say, uh, so really I'd better scurry. Beautiful, please don't hurry. And now it says, so really I'd better scurry. Your driver, his name is Murray. Oh, he's telling you, you can confirm when, yeah. when he gets here. Ask him his name. Yeah. And also his license plate number is LCX 1241. Yeah, this is an ad for Uber. Yeah. Uh, the neighbors, okay, hold on. Maybe just a half a drink more. Put some records on while I pour. So he's still getting okay. her. So she's now she's turning around and going, maybe just a half a drink more. Oh, we're both adults. So who's keeping score is the new one. Okay. That's stupid. It's consensual. Blah. The neighbors might think, baby, it's bad, bad out, out there. there. That's the original one. And now it's, what will my friends think? I think they should rejoice. God, yeah. this is so gay. It's gay. It's retarded. Oh, my God. Oh, All right. The no. next line. Hold on. The next line is, say, what's in this drink? No cabs to be had out there. So he's just like. <laughs> he's like ignoring it. <laughs> yeah. just. And now it says, if I have one more drink, and then it's your body and your choice. <laughs> I wish I knew how. Your eyes are like starlight now. And now it's, I wish I ooh, knew how. you really know, yeah, well, your eyes are like, oh, they kept that. <clears throat> to break this spell, I'll take your hat, your hair looks swell. Um, now it's to cast a spell, one look, and you and I fell. Okay. I have to say, no, 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 sir. Mind if I, ha mind if I move in closer. And then it says, I ought to say, no, 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 sir. Then you really ought to go, go, go. But he, so, oh, so hold on. It's like the original have, is, I ought to say, no, 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 sir. And yeah. he says, mind if I move in closer? So he's yeah. asking her consent. Yeah. So it's not now it's like, if you're saying. Originally, I don't know. Now it says, I ought to say, no, 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 sir. And then, then you really ought to go, go, go. So why don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, at what least, a fun era for courtship. At least I'm going to say that I tried. What's the sin of hurting my pride? Oh, now it's, at least I'm going to say that I tried. Well, Murray, he just pulled up outside. <sighs> <laughs> Your Persian driver's here. <laughs> to take you on the Pajamir Highway. Do you electric car nor in heavy <laughs> amounts? There's an armo sitting out front. <laughs> It smells like cigarettes. Hope you take one of his <laughs> mints. Um, I really can't stay. Oh, baby, don't hold out. Uh, now it's, I really can't stay. I understand, baby. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. God damn, this is dumb. Super. It's so dumb. Wait, my favorite line is so on the nose. Like, look, I get it. That, that song was kind of, I get it. But mm. my favorite one is your body, your choice. Yeah, this, this is, is so like I mean, political. Like, shut up. And then, I mean, in the end of the original, like, isn't how does it end? Baby, it's cool. They they, they decide just, to fuck. They decide, yeah. Yeah, they fuck. She stays. And now, it's baby, just go. It's cold, baby, it's cold. But ooh, I don't want to go. Okay, it's, so uh, she agrees to stay. Okay, so she still so she stays. fucks, but there's just tons of consent. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, I really want you. You really should go if you don't want to stay. Cold, what about fucking Murray? Murray He's got to pay the cancel I'm going to have to pay the, the surcharge. <laughs> the question is, did he get her a black car or just the yeah, share no. ride? Like, like, yeah, like a cunt. Fucking, it's a lift. And she's like, that's disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I think after the first round, I realized that she was a lot tougher than Fuck. I was expecting. Although I expected her to be tough, I just expected her to show a bit more tiredness. Oh it didn't God. go the way I wanted, but I was still happy that I went all the five rounds. It may not look like it, I enjoyed the whole process <laughs> and I enjoyed being in the ring <laughs> and challenging myself. If I could fight Brit again, Damn. I think what I'd do is, blood, although dude. I fought the way I like to fight, I backed off a little bit more than maybe I should have and I probably tried to do other things that I wouldn't normally do. Holy shit, shit bro. Got a <laughs> Well, that's bare knuckle. Um, oh. will you pull up uh, Melanie Shaw 
uh, uh, M E L A, so we can see what she looks like when she's not. I want to be battered. friends with this girl. She's awesome. Yeah, hit. Um, I don't think so. Fighter, yeah. There you go. Damn, dude. But what does she look that girl like? Fucked her up. Oh yeah, dude. she's pretty. Yeah, but like, Melanie. That face is crazy, Melanie. right? What happened to her? Look at the one flexing there. I know. I That's hope what she, she looks got. like. That's gonna be me after I do my weightlifting. Dude, dude. look at the two. I know. Fucking oh, A. She got man. fucking wrecked. Uh, oh, it says disfigured with teeth knocked out. Her teeth got teeth, knocked out. Teeth, bro. Well, bare knuckle is fucking insane. I mean, look at her knuckles right there. The, the holding the mic. Yeah. You see those? Those are totally swollen right after. Yeah. Her face is completely jacked, fucking dude. destroyed. This reminds me of public school. We can get into fights mm. and see chicks afterwards. That's public school, huh? In LA. God damn. Yeah, dog. These bitches are real. See, can I tell you something? Mm. The stupid bitch that's backpacking through Tajikistan. Yeah. She's never been in a fight before. No, that's something she should line up for. That's what I'm saying. Like, you want a dangerous thing? <laughs> you want to experience can't go something? fight, dude. Do that. These chicks have never been hit. They've never been in a fight. That's why they do shit like going to fucking uh, Kazakhstan and Kubekistan's <sighs> and Kakistan's. And yeah. All this shit. These dummies don't know that violence exists in the world. I know, right? Unreal. They're putting themselves there. It's crazy, dude. Did we, by the way, cover what a great guy I am? Sure. That I was at the airport a few weeks ago, <laughs> found a purse on the ground. That was a horrible lead in. You're like, what? did we cover what a great guy? Well, I was just guy. thinking about it. <laughs> like, I used to don't feel like I was kind of you wanted celebrated the praise. enough. You want to be celebrated. Yeah. You want me to bake you a cake? I kind of do, yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you realize yeah. how inconvenienced I was and that I Let's still... talk about it. Let's talk about it. I mean, I'm how pull, do you feel? I pull up to JFK. It's a bad airport. I get out and Busy. on the ground underneath the vehicle that's dropping me off, I see a strap and I pick it up. And as I start, I realize it's a purse and the strap is detached. Uh, one of the curbside baggage guys reach he's like hey i'll take that i go get the fuck out of here so i was like no and you didn't then trust him he didn't look trustworthy i mean i'm like oh oh you will oh, you okay trust him yeah. like like he's the lost and found well because if that had happened in like ohio i'd be like i trust that guy but it's jfk no full, i wouldn't i would swimmers. i never trust anybody who goes i'll oh, take wow. it oh, yeah it's, oh. i have a zero trust policy on that okay so i was just like i got it um and then I walk inside and he follows me inside. No. Yeah. Because I was taking my bags. You know, I had my roller and I had my backpack and my coat. And then I have this additional purse. And I walk in and I unzip it because I want to see like what the contents, you know, looking for an ID. I turn over my shoulder. He's followed me inside. Almost like, are we going to chop this up? Like, what's going uh, on? You know, I was like, uh -uh. so I take out the ID. I get the ID. I'm like, all right, first of all, this person like they lost their ID and their 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 purse outside the airport. No, oh, no. And this no. is departure. So there's no way they're through because they can't get through. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, all right, what should I do? So I take a photo of her ID and then I do a post on Instagram and I'm like, you know, just, I just I just tell the story and then here's the ID of this person, here's their name. Well, you know, I also have to go in myself. Like, so I put the purse in my unzip my bag, I stuff it in there go through security, go towards my gate. I go to the lounge. And when I'm at the lounge, I open my phone up. And I, of course, I'm bombarded with like joke comments. They're like, it's my purse. Give it to me. And all the, you know, like yeah. hundreds of people yeah. writing this shit. The mommies can find anybody. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. But then they find her right away. Of course. And then she messages me and she's like, hey, it's my purse. And I look at the name. I'm like, oh, this is her. And she's like, can you... Uh, can you come outside of security so I can, cause I, I miss my flight and I'm like, fuck. Cause I had to, you know, I had to do all the security go through. Yeah. So now you're so going like, to inconvenience fuck. you. Yeah. But I'm like, yeah, I go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. So I grab my stuff and I start heading towards the, um, to leave the lounge. And I just look again and she's like, actually my friend is through. She'll come get it from you. And I go, I'm like, what's your friend's name? She tells me the friend's name. And then as I'm leaving, 
the lounge, I the, this lady's like, are you Tom? Do you have the, I go, yeah. I confirm her name. And she's like, yeah, dude, this is fucking crazy. So I go, here's the, you know, and she's like, yeah, we're going to try to make our flight. And I figure that's that. I'm like, okay. So now uh, I sit back down. So, you know, I've, I've handed it over. I sit back down and I'm like, okay, now I have like 20 or 30 minutes before I need to leave the lounge to catch my flight. So I'm sitting there. And then when it's finally time for me to leave the lounge, I... I'm rolling my bag to the escalator and who's coming up? It's the lady. No. The yes. So I run into her and she's like, the fuck it. She goes, we missed my flight, but they, they, they put us on another flight. So we have another oh, flight. Good. We're just going to hang out. And she was super thankful. So Aww. nice. And um, no, it was just like a, a cool moment, you know, that Aww. she was able to, to get her stuff and then, and get on was her she flight. Hot? Yeah. Did she let you squeeze her tits at least? This is not. <laughs> Well, let's say thank you. Nice lady. Respectful lady. Well, nothing How like that. How old is she? I don't know. 30s, 40s? I don't remember. Oh. Well, that was very nice of you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I understand. What's kind of disappointing is to get back from something like that and to come into this office and not see like banners, balloons, right. cupcakes. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> You're the best, like that kind of stuff, celebrating but Tom, the gesture. <clears throat> I mean, like the point of doing. No, the point is, it's not. <laughs> I don't want to have to ask for it. You guys should know to do that. Now right. I'm. Now it looks like. Now it's on us. Yeah. Now I have to be like, oh, where's my, you know, where? How come I'm not being honored? Right. <laughs> We're the jerks somehow in the situation. Well, I mean, guys. I hate to have to point it out, but yeah. it's like now. By the way, don't even think about doing it now. Now it'll mean nothing at all. <laughs> I'll throw the cake in your face. But the next time I do something like that, which will happen again because I'm that type of person, you guys need to step up as a whole staff, I'm saying. Yeah, and reward you. Well. You want cupcakes, balloons, banners. I would put photos of me up. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Babe, there's photos of you already up. No, different everywhere ones. Everywhere in different, the studio. Different ones. We recycle our cans in your mouth, friend. Different. Down. It needs to be like. You, you you're know. glorified everywhere. No, There's pictures it's not of you enough. Shaking Brad Pitt's it's hand. It's not enough. And... It should be a like a more like a like a like a I know headshot kind of thing. Like um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a hand on the and then like this. Yeah. And then it should be like, you know, a banner. Like the leaders you're of the Turkmenistan. Well, we should I mean, have. I don't. I hate to ask for you. it. Yeah. I hate to ask for it. <laughs> I just feel like if you guys had any sense to you, that would already be happening. And there should be a cake, you know. No. Who's a better person than you know what I mean? I They're, know. I agree with you. When you have when you do a good deed, especially when it minorly inconveniences you, you want to be you want the celebrated. Yeah. I agree, dude. Because yeah. most people will be like, Yeah, who cares about that bitch? You know what I mean? Mm. And then you just go on with your yeah. life. But that was nice of you. Oh, so yeah. her the strap broke on her purse? I guess. I just you know <laughs> just the kind of guy you get. I just kinda did what <laughs> I think anybody would do. I don't want I don't want all this like attention for it. Uh. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, that was really good, Tom. Oh, don't even mention it. Yeah. Um, I just did what I what, what I hope somebody would do for me. You know? Proud so, of you. Yeah. Um, okay, let's. Why don't we take a? Don't make that face. No, no. Rotten face. Let's take a quick break, and we'll see what kindness I come up with during our break. <laughs> we are. Back, and we are always excited to welcome back this guest who has a new album out right now called Ram. Give it up for Wheeler Walker Jr., everybody. Woo! Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Yeah. I do appreciate it. Good to see you guys. Been it's always long. good to see you. Uh, thanks for coming in. Just for people that don't know, which how many albums is this now? Four? That's the Third? fifth one. Fifth album. Yeah. Wow. I think it's time to wind it, wind it down. What do you guys think? Wind it down? What? I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like it, I want... It's all about exiting at the right time. Yeah. You know, and I got a, I got a, my favorite artist kind of knew when to Tap call, out. call it a day. I don't think it's going to be like tomorrow, but. What's all Wheeler going to do after this? That is what I'm discussing right now. I don't know. But I feel like I'm like ready to just chill. You chill in the mountains? Yeah. Like that kind of thing? I kind of want to, you know, we were just in Florida recently. I was like, I could just sit on this beach for like 
20 years. And I mean, I probably don't even have 20 years in me, but. Sure, but I get that. We were talking about where to peace out from. Like, where would you go? Well, Where's well, the ultimate? What was your answer? Europe. You think so? Mm -hmm. Western Europe. Western Europe. Like where? Give me an example. Could be like Portugal, Spain, Italy. Italy. See, I need them to, I need, I need people speaking English. England? England, but just, it seems cloud. It's, it's like cold. The beach in Florida sounds good to me. I mean, it's a way easier place yeah. to get to. <laughs> yeah. 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 Again, yeah. They, they speak redneck and they, yeah. they know what they're talking about. And That's you can true. actually, you could fucking get a nice spot. You know, you really could depending on, on the real estate. Yeah, I don't think it's that crazy there. I mean, it's not, I'm, Europe is probably super crazy, right? But just, it's always geographic, right? So it just depends on where you want that spot to be. Like in Florida, I can point you to extremely expensive real estate on the beach. Sure, yeah. I mean, that's kind of like, like everywhere. You yeah. Can, you could live in a kind of shittier place or you can live in LeBron's old house. Or exactly. Something. Exactly. What is, is Austin? Austin's gotten as crazy as Nashville, right? It, 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 it peaked. It got real crazy, but that was actually a while. It, it's come back down to hmm. reality a little bit. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should come over here. That's a Nashville, great idea. Oh, Nashville is should. fucking. Nashville's getting all my fucking. This nerves. city would love Why to you, have you. What's wrong with yeah, Nashville? Yeah, what's going on there? It's just it's turned into fucking redneck Disneyland. It's just it's mm. just fucking Jason Aldean's bar. Kid rocks. It's just people. Yeah, the airport's just full of you know. Can I be rude? Yeah. Bitches and cowboy hats and fuck. What are those shoes that like are pre-dirty? You know Greg, the golden goose. Gold, yeah, I, I hate those shoes. Yeah, just too. like just like the settlers, right? The yeah. cowboy the cowgirl hat and fucking golden goose. Golden Get goose, the fuck yeah. out of here. Yeah. Like making their reservations for Kid Rock's bar. I always feel like so many girls that wear just their cowgirl boots though, they look like kids. You look yeah, you look, you're wearing mommy you shoes. You look like because yeah, they're and, and, oversized and they, and they can't really balance. Right yeah, now. they're old and they look too big. <laughs> and like, you know what really struck me about um, Nashville last time I was there the the drunk girl culture, sorry, the um, bachelorette party culture, and that it's, downtown. It's like, and the thing that really baffled me are these the buses that you pedal while you oh, get drunk. Oh, the fucking pedal taverns. And I, I'm like, and why? I, every time I'm down t near downtown, I'm like, I'm gonna smash into this fucking thing. But why would out. you want to exercise while you're getting ripped? Because it's because it's the cool fucking dumb bitch thing to do. <laughs> That's such a dumb bitch. It yeah. is a dumb bitch move. It yeah. sucks. And you drive by some of them and they all, they're so hammered that they're like, yeah, they just scream at you yeah. while you're like, I'm about to get thrown up on. And yeah. When I, when I go down, I think they're recognizing me. I'm like, oh fuck, here come, babe, look out. There's my fans. I realize they're just, they're just young because I have a car. Yeah. Yeah. They're drunk. Yeah. 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 Drunks are the worst. It sounds um, like you have a thing against, um. What's his name you mentioned? Well, Kid Rock. I don't know. I'm just telling you. It's, it's, it's the first bar that comes to mind. Oh, okay. Have when you I met think, him before? Yeah, I toured with him. I know him. Okay. okay. He's a good, I got nothing sure. against Kid Rock. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Garth just opened a bar there. Yeah. Yeah. What and think I, of that? I, it was, that was, you know, that was big news in Nashville. Because, yeah. by the way, I've seen it. I, it hasn't opened yet. Yeah. I think, but I've, it's, God damn, this thing is huge. Fucking, is it huge? It's, it's fucking takes up like, I was big like. Big ass stadium bar? It's like, it looks like. Oh yeah, it's God. fucking it. But look at, but when, what do you think that real estate costs? I mean, if you think of Lower Broadway as probably the hottest real estate in the South and he yeah. owns that fucking thing. Yeah. Man. Isn't it like right next to a police station or something? Because he, sure. he keeps doing this thing where he posts him with the cops. Oh, that's, that's right. I, was, I meant to bring up last, since the last time I've seen you, he, we now know he knows who you are. Right? Yeah, for sure. I didn't know about that. Yeah. that was, that's a new thing. Yeah. That's oh, really yeah. Exciting. So he's been laughing at you? He's been laughing at me. He blocked all of us. Really? Yeah. And then he turned off his comments, like just shut down comments on his social media. Sometimes he opens them back up, but a lot of times they're off now. So what was the story I heard that, so he was, so he was I left. happened to meet, I'm trying to be, um, you know, I don't want to give away the exact details okay. of this, but what I can tell you is somebody who knows him quite well is somebody I ran into. Mm-hmm. And it came Brad up. Pitt? Uh, no, but it's somebody who. Would that be funny if Brad Pitt and yeah. Garth Brooks hung out? If that that would be actually hilarious. But this person goes. Um, I was like, it, it came up because it was. He knows he's so well connected to him, and I was like, uh, he came to my show, and I was, you know, I brought it up, and and as we're talking about it, I'm like, he, does he know? And he's like, yeah, of course he knows, and. Um, I asked, like, how does he take it? And he goes, he, he's confused by it, doesn't get it, 
like doesn't get it at all. Doesn't know why people are doing this. And then that, sorry. So that was the first time I saw this person. And then a few months went by and I guess, cause the other thing is like, that's one of those things that actually, even though we encouraged it at one point, it took off on its like, Totally, yeah. People kind of got the formula for it, and I used to see my, my. I used to see my clips of me with you talking about Garth, yeah. and like, look at this, and I was like, "What do I have to do with Garth?" I mean, but also like, I'll we won't bring up his name now for like months. It doesn't matter. That thing has taken off on its yeah. own. So the next time I ran into this dude, I guess he had turned a little bit from like I'm confused by this to like, hey, I don't like this shit that this guy is doing. Found out who I was, and he said. That Garth, when people bring it up to him, shows them the video of me breaking my arm and like falling, <laughs> trying to dunk. And he goes, karma. Oh, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> See, I think that's so fucking cool. It is cool. Yeah. Is just, cool. That, just that he knows who you are. Well, yeah. Ann Wheeler, it made it into the National Enquirer. That is that's crazy. Cool. That's no, pretty exciting. No, it's legitimately in the National Enquirer that Garth is, it, that's what the story says, that he is fuming mad at us. But this thing... You know, pretty to, cool. This thing got enough legs on its own now, <laughs> where sometimes I'll see somebody will tag me in the comments of something, and it'll be a complete like something not comedy related, like radio show or some, or like some other podcast where it's like I said not comics, and someone will be like, you know about this Garth Brooks thing, and people will go like, what? And they're like, Th there's like a legit theory that he's a serial killer. And you see people go, what the fuck? You know what's, weird, what's weird, not to interrupt, but like, I, so, so I do this VIP thing before uh -huh. my shows and I'll, then I'll, we're like 50 fans will come in and pay like way too much money to see me like talk and sing acoustic mm -hmm. songs. And I'll hear these people scream like, where are the bodies? Mm -hmm. and, I, and I asked, and one time I asked, I go, what the fuck are you talking about? They're like, you know, Tom's thing. And I'm like, I, I know Tom, I don't know what this is. He goes, uh, the whole and he, they this they explain it to me at the show. It's like yeah. they 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 come up to me. I don't even. That's know hilarious. Yeah, yeah, it's like they're just they want it. They want more of it. You yeah. know, like I think the thing is, you know, we've talked about things like this. How the easiest way out of this whole thing, like if you're him and you're desperately like I want this to end, is just to do like one post, one comment, what with a wink. You can literally be like, "Hey, don't open that up." All the totally. bodies are if, if in there, he did and one, it's like the whole thing. If he did one thing, thing that he, that he was in on the joke, people it would it would be no more. And fun. they flip them, yeah. And they flip. They all would be like, "That's no fun anymore." Yeah. yeah. Or they'll be like, "You're the best." They they end up going like, "That's so cool that you entertain." Yeah. I wonder the if joke. it got big enough that well, he's probably so big that I wonder if it got big enough that he heard somebody yell it or something. Oh, mm -hmm. he's he's he, he knows we went we sent our guys. He out. was on the jumbo train. <laughs> What now? Zolo was on the Jumbotron in uh, Houston yeah. at the stadium show. Mm -hmm. And he held up a, like, we love you Garth sign. And then he dropped it. <laughs> and underneath it, it said, where are the bodies, G? And it's on the fucking Jumbotron. Yeah, is, is there any at like YouTube footage? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. It's He's fucking. pulling it up right now. I want to see, can I, can I tell you my Josh story? So usually <laughs> I play, so when I play a show and if the hotel's close enough, I'll take off my cowboy hat and my shades and no one recognized me and i'll put on like a hoodie and walk back to my hotel yeah when i played the moody and i heard this you know wheeler i was like oh fuck here comes a crazy fan mm -hmm. i walk and it was it was fucking josh yeah Aww. tell me good show and, oh, nice. and I almost, oh, it's a good thing i saw i saw his face about to i was about to fucking throw a punch <laughs> <laughs> well you know what's interesting is oh here it is Look, there's there he is. That's oh, him. That's Josh Zola. Where are the bodies, G? And it's on like the you know there's like eighty thousand people there, and it made it on onto this to the jumbotron, and then they cut away from it. Well, the craziest thing about Garth is he was the biggest guy in music when music was the biggest. Back when there were, I think CDs were probably what seven. Remember how they were fucking seventeen bucks? Oh yeah. And he was selling millions a fucking day. By the way, only guy. I think the only guy in your business. That's still like, hey, we got a new uh, D, like we got a new CD DVD set coming out. Yeah, and he's what well, the new ones like exclusively a Bass Pro Show. Here it is. Here it is. This it is. is like at the concert. Oh, do they? Show, oh, do they? they yeah. break into this. Oh, oh, he's, he's about to smash his guitar. Thing. We love you, Garth. <laughs> Where <laughs> are the bodies, good. G? And then they cut right in there. Like, but nope. did that, was it enough time for the audience to react? I think enough people there probably because we got tagged a million times that yeah, night. Yeah, people knew. Yeah. You know, a million years ago, Tom spent hours taking the Miami Sound Machine song, Conga, check your body, baby. Conga. Conga. He spent hours layering farts into that song. With the song. horns. 
So like dun dun dun, I'll go. Oh, you have what? But in fart in real time? Well, I just had like a bunch of fart noises, and also like this would obviously be an easier thing for someone proficient with it. Like I had no experience, so I'm like on GarageBand, and it's like. And I wanted to take different farts, so there's some variety, not the I same. I mean, it was a masterpiece. Dun, 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 you know, and then the, there's that part where the horns go, dun, 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 like so, and I had to do like a fart with every horn. Dun, dun. And we put it out dun, 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 dun. on the podcast, and then we were like, This is a long time ago. This is like please, when Twitter was yeah. new. Please, somebody, please tag Gloria as much as we can, <laughs> Gloria Stefan, to uh, talk about this. <laughs> Right? Yeah. I mean, so she wanted a new version out? Like well, the, I wanted, like we wanted the, her. Like the Segura remix? Yeah, yeah. We wanted her to acknowledge this totally Miami like fart machine. disrespecting yeah. the song. Like, Can you imagine her, layering it? Imagine her going up to the, to the boys, like, uh, we just, we, your, your band name has changed. You're the Miami Fart Machine now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we got this guy up here. He's going to fart over. And I'm like, fellas, yeah. uh, come on then. So we just did, and it's like, you, every, every day we would go on Twitter and we'd be like, We'd see how many times we were tagged. Like, look, a hundred people are fucking tagging this or more or whatever. And retweets and retweets. And then one day she responds. And we're like, huh? and then <laughs> the we're coolest. like, can we set up a phone call? And, she, and they're like, yes. And then we get a number, we call. And like, we get to talk to her and Emilio Estefan <laughs> about farting on their song. Did a full interview <laughs> about how she wrote the song. And then I was like, if we tour together... Like, what kind of door deal will we split? Because I'm going to be farting a lot while yeah. you sing. And it was just like, but the fun thing was that, like, she did the thing where she embraced such this a nonsense. good sport. And everybody was like, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, and we don't, but, we don't, but to back to your point, we don't hear about it anymore because she was yeah. like, had fun with it. She had fun with it. She had exactly. fun with it. Yeah. And I mean, back in the day, this is like we were still doing this this podcast out of our home. Like, yeah. we weren't. We weren't. Yeah, I was. YMH I, was, I, was, yet, I, was really. I was probably there smelling those farts. Yeah, you probably. probably. Yeah, yeah. But to this day, she's still somebody we love, and like we stay at her hotel even, and mm. we just, you know, she probably cut. How that loaded out. is she? So much. Yeah, she's so very rich. She yeah. probably took all that early sound machine money. And also, it. it's like it's the combination of her with all those, all the songs and royalties and all that. I mean, look at the fucking. That's the net worth of. I was Jesus gonna say. Christ. I was gonna say the combination of the two, right? Because like, he produced a what bunch of stuff. What the fuck am I doing wrong? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of money. What else is Gloria? I mean, she's got the hotel business. But who's, but who's her husband? I don't know who her husband. Emilio. Emilio Estefan. So I think he produced a lot of their stuff oh, okay. back then, um, right? Like he does. He have a if you that drop down that first one might How even did have Gloria his, get so rich? Well, it's like it just has them. Seven hundred. Like, doesn't million. look like Tim Allen. That okay. shot does. Um, yeah, do an Emilio. Oh, there it is. Hit, hit his wiki. Because like his background, I feel like, is in producing, if I'm not wrong. 700 millis. God damn. Um, he was a member of the Miami. Yeah. Oh, so he right. went from the, from the horn player to yeah. the, yeah. why don't I produce hey. that? But it looks like, I think he wrote songs too. Like he's actually a yeah, real. Yeah, he says BMI songwriter of the year. Yeah, he's a real talent, this guy. Yeah. Um, but you had a good call with them, and had fantastic. Fun. And scroll down to their like uh, their business interests because okay, he's a producer. He also produced other people. It looks like Jennifer Lopez, Ricky Martin. He produced various events, shows. Scroll a little more. Here we go. So they own businesses, restaurants, uh, Miami Beach. Downtown hey, Miami. Guy, he's got a restaurant in Disney World. Yeah. Mm, awesome. Jesus Christ. Yeah, a couple hotels. Hotels. And, and also their daughter. Minor ownership in the fucking dolphins. Yeah. Wow. Their daughter's really talented too. I just found her on TikTok. You she plays all, the drums always, and sings. They always these billionaires kids are always talented, you mm. know. Yeah. Uh with the I could be talented with if I if I grew up in a billionaire's house. Yeah. <laughs> no shit, right? Just focus on that yeah. one. Just, Emily uh, Marie Consuelo Estefan. She turned 30 million and she turned 30 million into 100 million. Dude, this girl, Emily Estefan, if she she's on TikTok, she's really fucking talented. Look at her. She plays the drums like her mom did. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Like, you know, them fucking Latin drums or whatnot. She can sing. She's really something. Mm. It's cool. Very cool. What? I didn't know this was such a powerhouse family. Yeah, I don't know how to call it. They go, look at that, like so fast, like the Cuban shit. Yeah, but he can fart. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fart all over your drums. Talent. We'll see who people remember. Real talent. 
Yeah, she's crazy. something. Uh, by the way, I wanted, to read your, uh, I wanted to read your track list from the new album, oh, Ram. Oh, cool. Uh, side A, if you get the vinyl. Born to Fuck, yeah. Money and Bitches, Dump Truck, Sniffers Row, Skanks for Nothing, Puddin, Finger Blast, Fuck This Job, Who the Fuck, and Credit Card. Wow. Wow, that sounds beautiful. That is really nice. Do you know what Sniffers Row is? No. Uh, no. Could you tell Sniffers me? Sniffers Row is the front row of the strip club. Wow. Where you can smell the pussy. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. We were just talking about <laughs> pussy sniffings and smells. How many, well, have you, you had a lot stinky of stinky ones? Bitch? You know, I pro- I always, I, I don't really, first of all, my wife is in the lobby, but second of all. Oh, hello, um, Mrs. Walker. Uh, you know I don't, I'm married to him, right? Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm just saying it's like. No respect. I'm trying to, like, no one whose balls smell worse than mine. Right, that's what he was saying. I, yeah. That's what I said too. Yeah, I mean, can you? I mean, I, balls. I, balls. Sometimes, sometimes you go to pee. You don't. Know, you don't know this. Sometimes you go to pee, and when you before you pee, you're like, "Ooh, oh my God, ball!" Like you smell your own up. balls. You know that happened to me a, at the airport the other day. I was. Yeah. I put. I whipped it out to piss. Yeah. I was like, Jesus Christ, what's that smell? I realized <laughs> it was. It was the space between my sack and my yeah. taint. Yeah. And it just wow, it like wafts up yeah. to you. Yeah. I was like, you got to deal with this. Yeah. Well, yeah. and you know, it's really interesting. Uh, female hygiene so different than male hygiene. For instance, after I work out, immediately I take off whatever I'm wearing and I shower. Otherwise, no, no bueno. This guy right here, no, I'm with hours him. I'm already later, with him. yeah, this yeah. the evening comes around. He worked out at seven a.m. Hey, I'm I'm gonna go take a shower now. He says, I'm like, you've been sitting in your stink. All day long. Yeah, and this has that. no effect on your testicles or penis. Sometimes I work out and, and like a Some, sweaty, gnarly <laughs> workout, then come here, podcast. I can't, I'm gonna throw up listening then, to this. And then I shower. Sometimes later. I'll change, sometimes the biggest thing I'll do is I'll change underwear. Yeah. I put my sweaty balls into a clean like underwear. Fresh underwear. Well, that's even Thinking nice. that, like, that yeah. cl- it doesn't clean them. That's no. for sure. Have you considered that? I mean, that's not a bad option. I've done it. I just, I like to, you know, ferment. You know what right. I mean? Try to give you a gift. I right. feel like two, because sh- I like to shower right before I go to bed. And I, I feel like, like that too. I feel like two showers a day is like the definition of losing. Because mm. I don't mm. have to, it's just like, that's too much. I do enjoy an end of day shower the most. Yeah. Because I feel like if I don't, all the, sh- I see so many. Sh- Remember during, by the way, side note, during COVID, they're like, man, this is the end of handshaking. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Everyone, everyone's fucking shaking my hand. No. I don't want that shit in my fucking bed. Well, and in the South, I feel like it handshaking never went away. Even during COVID, like we came out here to look at houses, like when we were buying houses. Everybody's like, how you doing? I'm like, there's yeah, that, a pandemic. That was my favorite when they were in the mask shaking your hands. Like, this doesn't really help. <laughs> I know. Um, all right, Wheeler, is this is this horrible or hilarious? I'll show you a video. Okay. You tell me if it's funny or just sad. Well, if I had a third choice, it'd be confusing. <laughs> but I guess if it's confusing, I would put sad. Yeah, kind of sad. What's going? Is he trying to? Jump I guess overall? he was trying to jump over all his friends. Then none of them looked at the fact that there's a ceiling beam that's pretty low. You know, that's pretty low. Oh, that's a- Oh fuck! I didn't even get um, that. He's bit. fucked up. I didn't see that he. Yeah, I didn't see that he had. Yeah, it. yeah it's definitely sad. Because, yeah, yeah, because I was just like, he's got that many friends who want to just lay down see on the ground. Him. Yeah, I know. I didn't like that at all. Well, hopefully this next one makes us all giggle. Here we go. No, I don't like kids. I think I know where hurt. this is going. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. We know the answer. Are these to teenagers? That. Yeah. Uh, uh, no. He's hurt. It hurts. But it's, he's going to recover. Okay. You know, sometimes we see one of these videos and we're like, well, that guy's dead. You know, this is not Yeah, that. but do you think sometimes balls don't recover, you know? That's true. Yeah, they can, can, we can rupture them. That looks like something that may, he may not have kids. I don't know if that's a bad thing, but. Yeah, that's, uh, that definitely stung. Um, yeah, can we go to the next one, please? I don't like it either. Okay. Not interesting. Oh, Are you all right? Get the dog, get the dog, hurry up, get the dog. Get the dog, get the dog. I think his voice saved it. Yeah. I'm going to go back upstairs, Debbie, and just be in private, okay? (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. That was pretty good. That was pretty great. Yeah. Poor guy. He's upset. He's humiliated. 
Yeah, he it was pretty his... great. He was, if you're listening, he, his dog ran out and then he fell off the stairs out front. And uh, well, you can kind of hear the rest. He's like, Go get the that dog, embarrassing. Debbie. If you want to be alone, you're pissed. Yeah. yeah. It's good to have the awareness to yeah. be like, I need alone time now. I will say that too. He was like, you know what? I'm going to yell at you, but instead I'm going to go yeah. take a couple deep breaths. Oh, uh, we've been like totally. Do, have you heard about this guy, Kevin Leonardo? No. So this dude, we couldn't believe that this was on YouTube. And it's on YouTube. And it was like, you know, there's things that make their way to like Instagram or YouTube. But it's like, hey, you better watch this before it gets taken down. Like you, you can just tell like this has a clock running. I feel like they're, sh- they're not taking much shit down. No. Well, this one, just so you know, is not a joke. This is on YouTube. It has tens of millions of views and it's not coming down like uh, and we checked and they're like oh yeah yeah no this is fine for reference this is how hairy my butt is right now oh (laughs) all right so step one is to squeeze this cream onto your hand so i'm going to be doing just that oh my god all right now it says to apply a thick even layer to cover hair do not rub it in so let's do that right so this is how to remove hair from your asshole with nair and it's considered educational. I was gonna say maybe he said it was instructive. Yeah, it's instructive, and and it sure as hell's teaching me. And YouTube, <laughs> YouTube contacted like we asked, and they're like, yeah, this falls under these guys. So you you, you reported him. We didn't report. We just go because like we go, can we show this? Because we noticed that it's up and it has forty something million views, and they were like, yeah, this there's a art, there's like documentary. And there's education, and if, if YouTube deems it in this category, it doesn't fall under the same guidelines and rules as something that isn't. Can I tell you one, too, that I don't know why it's still up? So I did this song, Puss in Boots. I don't know if you remember. We did a, <laughs> na- a nude version and a regular version. We did one where the girl's titties were hanging out, yeah. and we did the clean version. Yeah. We put the, the dirty version is still fucking up. Yeah. Ah. And no one know. I don't know why. It's just and, On YouTube? Yeah. And this will, hopefully this doesn't uh, oh, tag it. Oh, it has 15 it. million views. Yeah, it's, but it just but it just has naked tits, and they're totally fine with it. Yeah, wow. I don't. I think it just got. They missed it. Really? Yeah. And this is this the dirty version? Oh yeah. yeah. There's just tits. There's tits, and there's nothing, nothing instructional about it. But please, YouTube, to keep it up. Maybe it falls under art. Yeah. I mean, it is art. It's a music. It is video. definitely You're art. You're an artist. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got the body double. Um, I think we, I think the director just like searched for like porn actors or something mm-hmm. her tits were cool i saw that both yeah. of them um just in case you were wondering this is how my butt looks pre-rinse Ugh. and pre-shower and post hair removal I cream oh. i'm going to take a shower there's too and much the ball, area though, and come back and show you what the results are all right guys i'm back happened. for my shower well, did my nighttime skincare this is how my butt looks post shower post rinse and post hair removal cream well i mean if i if i don't well, that's show, great i don't if, if we are and he just winked his asshole by the way yeah he just flexed his asshole at us yeah he knows what he's doing that's why it bothers me it's he's very self-aware he knows what he's doing well how does how does nair work it just it burns the hair off of your skin it yeah. just burns it off but he's Chem- been, chemically burned he's been posting wild no shit. i know so i found Recently. Men that I currently want to sleep with. I don't agree with like all of his political opinions, but I think Ben Shapiro is actually like low key really cute. Especially those old thirst traps that people like post of him. I also love Jews and I love like the little hat that he always like wears, like little the Jewish hat like hat. I think it's like so cute. He also seems really passionate <laughs> about the stuff that he talks about, and I love passionate men. I love Joey Santanago and like all of his like podcast clips. He's the host of the Backyard Basement podcast, and he and his friend Frank are so funny. I love them so much. Frankie is cute too, but I feel like Joey is more like my type. And I would one thousand percent bang Joey. He's so cute and he's so funny. So cool. He's like Tom Segura. So I no, didn't I know I liked Matt Rife until like a week ago. Well, he seems course. so like funny and like down to earth, and he just and genuinely like, seems like a good funny guy. He's also like very objectively good looking, but like his personality like, like makes like, him like, like very like, attractive. Like, like, I don't know him, but like, like I'm also really proud of like his success. We all like, know that I want to spend Josh Hutcherson's why, why so, so I'm not going to like delve too deeply into this one. I did. Okay, well, you get the I point. So. Yeah, no, there's a bunch of guys who, uh, if you want a a guy with a, no hair on his ass, you gotta you got a guy. You got a guy, man. A crusty p- sucked my micro when I was six years old without my consent. And whenever I share that story, there's always some people that go like, oh my gosh, like that's the only reason why you're gay. Like that's how gay people like reproduce, like old crusty p- like my little kids. And that's how gayness like exists and why like continues. I have a few things to say. Why is this sped up? 
Uh, that's just how he posted it. Oh, he posted it no, like this? Oh, it's terrible. It's so It's weird. unwatchable. So he's talking about somebody sucking him off when he was six? Jesus fucking Poor Christ, kid. man. Hey, you don't want to sp- when You don't want child sped up. No, no. I think you could... Take your time. And this is so fucking weird. I love to smell the black stuff that kind of like builds up in the corner of like your toenail, like your big thumb toenail when you clip it. And so I get really like aroused in like an unsexual way when it's time to. He's he posts it with this. I feel like education. I feel like all these these videos should be evidence that the first video should be down. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's like that's not education. How is this education that he likes to smell the the crest under his so toenail. I'm clipping and I have to kind of pull it oh, because I, I can't like cut my skin but do you see the black stuff that just came out let me show you guys why? focus on this why? so I why? love to just kind of like smell it because I got really curious as to like what that is and, kind of- and that's yeah. education it'd be cool to just like put my, make a music video with just his ass yeah and just like apparently you're allowed to show it so just yeah. God, damn it before and after let's switch it this out is i mean else. but this is like I, hold on though he is a guy that likes to get laid he, he doesn't think this is gonna stop him from other guys i guarantee yeah. it doesn't you're a gay guy you still fuck him i don't know smelling his fucking foot cheese matt may have lost interest after seeing this clip you know yeah, i yeah. think joey santiago's <laughs> gone now <laughs> Shapiro's still in. Yeah. Shapiro's in. With his little hat. With his hat. He always wears his little hat. God. <laughs> Show some respect. Oh, I love that he has a hat on all the Jeez, time. Guys. What how many what do you think this guy makes makes a month? I have no idea. Like you should see like when you when you can you pull up his um what's it called? Like the the, the list of videos, you know, like his um his library. Cause it'll be like I was in a car accident. Drink this to make your cum yummy. Like, it's like the weirdest back and forth. Um, okay, so hit videos, if you would. And then, you know, the titles. Penis, balls, butt crack, and pits. How I keep mine hairless. We know how. Does okay. He put, does, he put, does he put an air on his fucking dick? I mean, who knows? <laughs> Next one, fingering my cat. Um <laughs> How to wax your butt, filling up my hairy hole, soaking in piss and saliva. How I shoplifted for eight years and never got caught. I mean, this is unhinged. Yeah. I am He's about artistic, to not autistic. I came for the third time outside Hold and on. it felt so Could good. Not what to interrupt. the fuck? How, how did he fill up his hairy hole? I'm interested. I, well, there's, a, there's a whole video, actually. Um, I'm unaroused by my stepdad. Like, what the fuck? Why I posted about come before Hamas? <laughs> <laughs> That's an actual title of a video. Wait, which one? Sorry. Why I posted about cum before Hamas. I, I That's mean, right before I, I can't. I'm just, unaroused by my step Yeah. Actually, if you scroll a little more, we'll see that. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Like, I don't support Hamas and innocent deaths. How to make bigger loads that taste yummy. <laughs> this guy's fucking out of his mind. Yeah. My stepdad did not get said by the pizza delivery like what in the fuck so this happening? dude i think the butthole was a way just his entrance point of yeah. just no pun intended of getting you to watch all these all i mean here's videos. his top ranked one those literally about to bust has some good views <laughs> nair on micro penis and balls a visual guide oh yeah and he shows his dick and balls in that one it's but he doesn't have a micro shot. penis and balls well he has a it's not Oh, I, whatever. I don't it's, know. A, it's in there. Like, you literally click the video and his dick and his, is in there. He's, I mean... And he's like, don't judge. Maybe inappropriate. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's, oh, I would say, yeah. yeah. It's not great. It's not great. But y'all bet if you posted this on your video, it would get taken down. Well, that's what, we, that's what was our whole inquiry. So we actually ended up making a couple with nude models, but we had Dr. Drew come in and do medical advice in them. <laughs> They're and assholes? Then, uh, one... One girl was topless. It was for a breast exam. And then we had a guy for a testicular exam. So those are on our, our Clips channel, on the uh, YMH Clips. And it's like... And they stayed up? They stayed up because we did what... Oh, like a... Like a education. A, like, a, like, hey, YouTube, you can't take this down because of this. Well, we asked them and they were like, yeah. So, yeah, then he just... There he is. <laughs> he seems excited about that. Now, if you he actually... If you watch the whole thing, Drew actually jacks him off at the end. But they don't know. It's like an Easter egg in there, you know? You Does he really? This guy <laughs> shaves his pubes off. Is that normal? But what's, he what's he looking at? What's, what's he looking at now? Like, <sighs> you guys really got in there. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little nervous. It's so close. It's yeah. dick and balls. And then the the that girl was, so was just that was just a breast exam, right? Yeah, that was this one. You don't need to see the girls. I'm yeah, yeah. That's why we're all balls. here. Okay. Nobody gives a shit about balls. 
Yeah, go. which got more views, the tits or the balls? Uh, I think the balls did. Nice. Yeah. Hey, yeah. cool. Yeah. It makes like Dr. Drew look weird, huh? Well, no, I mean, I mean, he's a real physician, a so yeah, he's you know. You're checking for a, this. Is, this is instructional. You it's instru check, it's yeah. a, it actually. Of course. You know. Interesting that the dick and balls got more views than the titties. It's weird, maybe because they're harder to find. Huh. What is that? What's the theory on that? Why is dick and balls? You think? Uh, I think we put it up first, so there was more hype around it. I know that oh, I. Oh, the hype! Uh, the, lot, dick and balls get more hype. A lot yeah. of people got mad at me when um when we first posted the dick and balls one. I used a photo of this girl. And then I linked that video, and they were like, where the fuck are the tits? So they're like, I'm just watching this guy's balls. Because <laughs> we did them like a week apart. <laughs> People were like, you just got me to watch this guy's Catfish. balls. Catfish. Yeah. yeah, those things happen all the time. Or I'll, you'll click insane. on the wrong thing. Cause yeah. Like, I'm, I'm embarrassed to eat cottage cheese in public. This guy is sniffing the dirt under uh, his fucking I know, fucking we got to get toenails? this off the screen. Hold on. Like, I got a hysterectomy last year, and I kept the, my uterus, my cervix, and all my stuff. And I keep it on a jar on my bedside. There it is. And sometimes when I'm bored, I take them out. Oh, my God. And I try to put it together like a puzzle. No, don't touch it. <laughs> and when I tell people that, they're like, that's so weird. And I'm like, but it's my organs. So I literally just, like, hold it. So keep it. it to yourself. Oh, and I'm Jesus. like, I don't know, maybe that's my cervix. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm like, I feel sick. Time. <laughs> I feel sick. Bro. People just, these kids just want content so bad. They want views. Yeah. They really do. I really don't think they should give you your organs after. I, 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 I didn't, didn't know, know, know they could do that. I, I think, think the biohazard. This is, she's just picking up, touching it now. She's going to fucking eat some Cheetos later and put the fingers in her I don't mouth. I, mean, but I think there's probably, not... there's got to be a rule about it. Because when they give me blood, I've, like, can you, before they put in that thing, or like, when they take like a blood sample, I can't go, can I have that? No, they don't, they're not supposed to give you your body parts. I mean, this is totally unhygienic. I remember when they cut my dick off to turn into a pussy, I asked for it. <laughs> and they said that, that, that they, they said they weren't allowed to give it to me. <sighs> I mean, uh, fuck, dude. I just like okay. I I would keep my organs, I guess, but I You'd wouldn't want play that? You with really them. Want them. No, I don't. I mean, maybe, but I wouldn't take them out and try to Jenga them fucking later. I would That's not wild. want that. Dude. And, or put it on TikTok. <sighs> That's kind of why. Here's here's my big thing of the past year, not to bust in with my own shit. I'm off social media completely. Yeah. Well, I have someone upload my shit. I'll make videos and say, here, post this. So. Yeah. I just, it was, it was too, it was too much. I just, it was, I've been a better person. It's since a bummer. Then. Really? Yeah. It's just like, what are my videos doing? I don't fucking know. What are the comments? Who gives a fuck? I just don't, it just helped my life. I just feel better because I don't have to, because I feel like my, I don't think any of my favorite artists knew that much about what their fans thought. I do it because I want to do it. You know, yeah, yeah. I don't want anything. One of the, I don't want to read those comments. I don't want to know which song got more views. I don't want to know any of that shit. Uh, nor you know? should you. Well, because then it affects how you create, right? And like you're not creating from the outside in. You should create from the inside out. Totally. And then stupid. Then Who I cares? would. I don't want to be in the studio going. Oh, this kind of sounds like that song that people, like ten people, told me to suck my own dick. You know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Then I'll be like, fuck. You know, it'll mess with me. And I've just been not having to worry about it all the time. You know, I don't know if you know, but musicians have these have the four artists apps where you can see your your streams and stuff, mm -hmm. and like, I deleted those because I can't. You can drive yourself fucking crazy. Like, sure. yeah. what was this? Oh, I got more streams Wednesday. I'm gonna do what I did Wednesday. And you, there's no fucking name. nobody fucking knows. Yeah, like some song went viral off my last album. It was just luck. No one. It wasn't better than the other songs. It was. Yeah. Just, it it caught on with somebody that day who probably had a bunch of followers and. And then it just goes. Fuck, yeah, yeah. Who the fuck knows? Yeah. Anyway, I would recommend it. Do you um are you are you touring right now or are you taking a chill break? I'm right taking now? a chill break, but I'm gonna do an exclusive announcement now that you asked. I'm doing a spring oh, tour. Wow. Okay. okay. And um I just confirmed it yesterday. Um I'm not gonna go through all the dates, but I am doing uh I think twenty something dates. And um the one that stuck out at me, because you were talking I heard you talking about Portland, Maine. Yeah. We're doing so I saw on the list, I saw Nashville. I said, I don't want to play Nashville. No, this is Nashville, Indiana. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what? I'm playing Nashville. In, 
Like, do you, you don't play the... I play the weirdest fucking cities. Why are you playing Nashville, Indiana? I have no idea. It was on there, and they paid me the money I wanted. Okay. Well, and, and I was just like, but did you know there was such a thing? I did not know no. about Nashville, Indiana. Never heard of it. No. I've been to some, like, absolutely small, like, odd markets. Um, yeah, and you hit cities, you're like, where? I don't, I don't even know where this is, but... That's one I didn't know existed. Yeah, that, it's very rare for me to have a city on a tour where I've never heard of it. Because you know, do you normally hit like the known? Kinda... Well, I do hit more kind of small towns around the big cities, sure. and tends to be a little bit better for me. But nothing that small. Yeah, I mean, I've n- nothing small enough that I got to be like, I think you're making it up. Sure. Yeah, that sounds like it. <laughs> that sounds like it. Um, and so you're gonna hit. How long will this tour be? I think it'll be a couple months. This last tour before was the first one I did where I actually, I think you do this. You know, or do you only do weekends? No, like my, this tour that I'm going on is like a, usually like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday thing. Usually. Yeah. This last one was the first one where I left for like three weeks at a time and it was fucking crazy. It's brutal. Yeah. It's it too was, much. I came back. I'm just like, I don't think you guys remember yeah. that I'm falling apart. I can't do this. Yeah. It's too much. The weekends are the, is the way to go. I think. Yeah, my only issue with weekends, though, is how about they always go, how about just weekends? And when's the bus leave? Wednesday afternoon. Yeah. And then when's the, uh, when do we get back? Monday night? Yeah, and you're like, like, that's the whole week. Tuesday is the week. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. So how the fuck is that a weekend? That's true. So I just figured, let's just stay stay out there. Yeah. Um, This is uh, another... Where do you guys play? Where do you play in Nashville? (sighs) Um, I've done the Ryman... A number of times, and it's great. This time I'm doing Bridgestone. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That, that'll be my first time doing it, though. Um, That's huge. But, like, last tour was, like, what we were talking about. It, it was, like, first show was Tuesday, and then you would do, like, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it's too long. It's too much. So now I it's, can't it's, do it. Yeah, I, I should probably start moving back to that. But the hardest part, too, is they go, when they go, yeah, I mean, like, Austin, for example. Austin's stuff plays sell tickets on a Tuesday. I was like, then what the fuck you book it for? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, I know. You got to like, you. I would always say when on, on things like that, I always tell them if they go, well, you know, all they have is the Wednesday. I'm like, well, then find a Saturday. Yeah, there like, are Saturdays. Yeah, make it My make favorite it was I, I met a musician once. He was like, he had heard the, the promoter at like 20 shows in a row. He, he said, this is more of a walk-up town. Mm-hmm. He said, after about hearing that 20 times, he goes, why don't you just tell me that, tell me, tell me that I suck. You yeah. Know? It's like after hearing so much that this, people don't buy tickets here. They just show up at the last second. Then of course they never do. Yeah. He's like, just tell me I fucking suck instead yeah. of pretending these fucking excuses. Boise on a Wednesday is tough, man. Yeah. No, no one wants to see me. Yeah. No <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's do TikToks, please. Okay, real quick with this. Hey guys, it's your boy, Josh. And today I'm going to show you my piss closet. Oh boy. Oh my god. My piss closet. Oh, that's basically. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh. Okay. Can we watch TikTok? It's basically what our boys do. No, I know. I don't even want to talk about it. My whole life is a piss closet. You realize every your time house I, is a piss closet. I now? sit down on the toilet on any toilet seat in our house, it's covered in little boy piss. Everything's a piss closet. And they, they f- piss on the. They just. Do you know our little guy got out of the bathtub the other night and just stood in front of me in our bedroom and just pissed on the floor and started laughing. Yeah, <laughs> Five my laugh. Laughing yeah, at it's me. Funny. Yeah. It's Eye funny. contact, and I was they like, love- don't. Piss places, and then we found. Uh, Don't even say. They it. took Don't bottles of water, it. pissed in it, closed them, and like put them in a closet. <laughs> oh Jesus! Christ. And I was like, "What is this?" And they're like, "What? We sealed them." And I'm like, "Nah, dude, you gotta, you can't do that." So disgusting. So gross. All right. Oh, this chick's awesome. Whoa, whoa! For those of you just listening, it's a woman who has holes above her mouth. She can stick her tongue through because her tongue is split. Well, there's let's let's be honest. There's a lot going on. Yeah, I was race. gonna say it's more than that. The eyes are black. Yeah, the face is tattooed. Face is zebra tatted up. She's got the what's the under skin like horns yeah. growing under the. Well, she better called? make it on TikTok because she ain't gonna be working. She's fu- she's millions. She no, no, she's good. She's really? good. She she's get, actually really. She pretty. ain't getting a job at the Olive Garden. No, she's not gonna wait. She's pretty. No, she's great. Yeah, she she like has done all this shit, but you could tell she's. 
pretty face. The tat is wild though. Yeah, it looks pretty crazy. It really covers so What's much. What's that shit up. called? That thing under the dermis, the those implants? Mm. Like the horns, subdermal implants. Subdermal yeah. Implant. yeah it's so, just the, wild. Do, is that something? Do you do that? Can, Split the time. Yeah, they yeah, can do that they, to you. Yeah. So and does then, when does it? Can you learn how to do them differently? I guess so. I mean, she took each side of her split tongue and put it through two holes that she had made on either side of. So her what upper do you t- now? It's just kind of giving me the creeps. What do you tell your doc that you? I want my tongue split. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, that's 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 nothing compared to what else this bitch had. She has her, millions of followers. Yeah, well, she's wow. popular. And then her eyeballs are tattooed black. That's oh, a that's new also thing. A, cool a lot of thing. new thing. We find out it's twenty years old, but we've seen a lot of that on TikTok. The eyeballs blacked out. I gotta say. I still think you should consider doing that. And I think that'd getting be cool, my head yeah. shaved, yeah. and the head shave. Well, I liked your idea of the uh, the what you call the, the skullet. skullet. Yeah, yeah, that'd be so badass, dude. Like right here, yeah. and then the hair long around. It looks fucking rad. By what the way, I, I do have to comment. My wife is in the lobby, and she she loves the part. She, she loves, loves the, the middle, middle part. Yeah. The middle part has just been all the rage. It's it's taken over the world. People yeah. are very She's excited. She's like my look Everyone's too. Talking about yeah, she was talking part. about your part. Okay, cool. Oh. Jesus Christ. Hashtag Christina's middle part. Well, mm. guys, I should have known. Drank two jugs of coffee between now and 4 a.m. Had a number two accident on the way back from the store. <laughs> now, don't act like this has never happened to you guys. Because it sure happened to you when you were a baby. Even if you can't remember. So you're not excluded. Mm. Had a number two accident on the way back from the store. Happens almost every day. Dripping down my leg and everything. Jeez Louise. Jace Lloyd. I love that her handle is Adventures with Kara, and this yeah. is just one of her adventures. She seems like an older lady who heard there's money to be made on TikTok, and she's yeah. just like, I'll talk about when I shit my pants. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't act like it's never happened to you, everybody. That's. Uh, I hate when they do that. Christ. It's like, just own the tragedy. You don't have to spread it around like yeah. that. Like, oh, you never shit your pants. Actually, I haven't like that. I've no. sharted. I didn't have two coffee servings between midnight and 4 a.m. or whatever it was no that actually this hasn't happened to me yeah so. no, this is unique to you uh kara this is your own adventure. that's why these are her adventures yeah yeah, yeah. Just booty on. eating craze leads to rise in deadly intestinal parasites says new report <laughs> unfortunately the rise in popularity of this practice has also led to the rise in a particularly nasty intestinal parasite Media Takeout is reporting that at least three women from Memphis, Jacksonville, and Atlanta have all been hospitalized after contracting Giardia after engaging in a practice with their partners. Despite its seemingly harmless name and even more harmless appearance, Giardia is a vicious parasite that could be deadly if left untreated. According to the New York State Department of Health, giarditis, sometimes called beaver fever, is caused by person-to-person contact, and booty eating is one of the fastest ways to contract giardia, the parasite that causes the disease. Spread of the parasite directly anyway, from one person to another you. male or especially... She's selling you. It's a detoxifier, powerful natural detox for black people by black people. I don't know how it's specific just for black people but yeah. whatever I'd be like you know, I got a song called Beaver Fever <laughs> I oh my it. god yeah. Yeah. but yeah. it was not I did not know about this did this cure at the time so no but isn't that neat Tom that is very cool my yeah. husband's always trying to get me to eat his ass and I hope that this video will have swayed him otherwise. well it's only really happening in Memphis and Jacksonville so yeah, it's not really well, a problem. Austin's I didn't hear, next I didn't, I didn't hear Austin on this we're one. next to it no we're, we're not right next happen. to it no we're not actually we're not even close did you hear, you hear the end where she said Texas is safe yeah <laughs> And also, it looks like it's only happening to black people, so I don't think you have anything to worry about. No, you yeah. know. Yeah. I, I don't For black what people. About, what about your yeah. black ass? Yeah. <laughs> what about my big black asshole? Huh? <laughs> it is pretty dark in there. It is pretty not dark. With, not, now that it, not that it's hairless, though. I know. I, I actually <laughs> do want to try the nair treatment. Yeah, I wish you would. Can I? Yeah, you can do whatever you want to your asshole. Okay, I'll try it. I'll help you. Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. <laughs> I just wish things would get better. I'm trying to so, get rid of them, but nothing seems oh, to stay the this same. This poor girl is a performer. Woke up in the morning, do my hair, make them get oh. clothes on. It's like Walk a certain do so lay type of thing. Yeah. And then she fell off the road. I mean, that is every time. That's why the only reason I would go to any of these shows is hoping that I get to see somebody fall. Yeah. So it's pretty cool when you get to see it. I know. Yeah, that would be cool to be there at that show. And also so everybody, everybody stayed seated like, that was cool. Was, yeah. What else will she do? 
God. I feel and like also, I would she own landed it. like on her tailbone. Yeah. That looks God, horrible. That, that's like, but she, you think she's hurt right now? Oh, this God has got it. to be. And then to have to keep going like. It uh, sucks. Uh, but haven't you ever fallen off the stage before? I've fallen off the stage before. Mm. As I was leaving. Yeah, I've had that like I've trip off, off on Dallas. The I've, I've, I've fallen on the stage. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, me too. That's cool. Yeah, tripping's terrible. Yeah. It's humiliating. Oh. So this is a lady who works at a shelter and she's eating cat yeah. poop from the litter box. What? <laughs> eating animal shit? Cat shit to be specific. Oh. Isn't that amazing? What the fuck, man? It's called pica. I mean, she's literally digging cat turds out of the box. And she's Jesus like, mm, Christ, what so the good. fuck? Yeah, the cat's like, no. Oh my well, god. Well she got the right she got the right job. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly what she should be doing. How does she, that not make you violently ill though? It makes uh, me sick to myself. I feel sick yeah. too. Like, how do Today's you episode has made me sick. I know this whole episode. Yeah, did you save successful. all the nasty shit for me? I think so. I think we did. Sorry. Yeah, that was fucking gross. God, I want to move on from this. this what? So, so anyway, revolting. that that's a disorder called pica and it's a mental disorder where people eat things like Thank paint you. or dirt or, or cat, cat turds. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Or ass. Or yes. ass. Black ass specifically. Black ass. Are you Ben? Yes, I am. Do me a favor. Can you move the seat forward? Because it's it's hitting my knees at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Hold on. It's very... Can you hold on? I didn't even put my seatbelt on, sir. Can you, like, slow down? <laughs> you're in a rush? Because if you're in a rush, I'm going to panic. It's too hot in here. Can can I lower this window this or something? real? Yeah, go ahead, mm -hmm. Ben. You know, your seatbelt is really tight around my neck. No. Does anybody else complain about this? No, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. Well, then take it off. No, I'm not going to take it off. I'm going to an important meeting right now. Like, I can't have my hair You're off. You're having an important meeting at 7 p.m.? What's that? You're concerned. What the fuck I do? I'm trying to explain to you, I don't get, I'm not getting any ventilation right now. Okay? And I don't appreciate your smart remark about me having a meeting at 7 o'clock, which I'm going to be late because of you. You showed up late. Sorry about that, okay? I'm sorry. Are you giving me an attitude, sir? No, ma'am, I'm not. All I have to do is report you to Uber, and so be it, you will be kicked off of this, this app, right? Okay? Let me oh. tell you, I've gotten other people kicked off. But this freaking seat is leaning on my knee. You have you to have consideration like... for passengers when they get in your car. Can I you tell you, I feel, I, I'm on her side. I've, yeah. I've, I've been this person before. <laughs> I bitch in these Ubers so much that... Yeah. Yeah, no. You she's, know what I think? She's really fired. Up. We need to just bring back old school taxis. Like I had to take a taxi the other day home from the Austin airport, and it was so shitty. Like the seats duct taped. The guy is driving too fast. The windows won't roll up. And I was just so grateful to be in a car going home that yeah. I didn't say shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, hey, you're just happy to make it there with your life. I got a ride. Yeah. I got it. Like, please shut the fuck up. There's too many privileges. Th yeah, exactly. Now you can press like, "Don't talk to me" too on much. the fucking yeah. app. Yeah. Too many privileges. These people need to just shut the. Shouldn't fuck the up. Uber driver have a thing where they says you can't talk? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. No, they have too. The consumer has too much power in this situation. It sucks. I don't know. I, I I kind of feel like it's too perfect though. Her her bitching where it, you know what I mean. I don't know. Now the seatbelt's too tight. I I feel like this was manufactured. Maybe, wow. but I feel like all. We're in a world now that you can make so much money off content. That yeah, I, sure. Everything I watch, I'm like, is it But also real? we should say that like, I feel like this is manufactured, but it represents a real thing. There That's are true. people yeah. like this. And then well, I'm, one, I'm one of well, them. Well, now you're bumming me out. You don't think the lady that eats cat turds is real? No, that that is real. That's <laughs> fucking real. That's very, <laughs> very upsetting and disturbing. You said that's actually an actual disorder? Pica. Oh. It's a mental disorder, yeah. All right, another people one. People eat things like that. Oh. Again, the Asians superior. Oh my god. That was submitted by our friend Connor Swindles. Shout out. Thank you, you know Connor. Who would, you know who would like that? Who, who's the guy who, uh, who, who nares his asshole? Oh, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Kevin would, and him. Kalo. Should, he should and that they they should date because he can put his ball down his throat and oh, get him all back. the way down. Yeah, yeah. That was how do you a but metal how, but ball how, that's actually a pretty decent size if you're listening. Like it's a decent. I size. do like the I like the tagline or the the 
thing. What is bro training for? Yeah, that's pretty good. But like that thing is so significantly sized that the guy actually, it's, he struggles a bit just to put it into his mouth, just to give you an idea of the size. Like that's not easy for him to put yeah. in his mouth. And then he swallows it, shows you that he swallowed it, and then he regurgitates it back up. And also, yeah. how do you train? Like how do you fucking, you do this incrementally. You just almost die yeah. all the time. The, the look at the bags under his eyes. It looks like he's been doing it for, two, for like 10 years. <laughs> he's been practicing yeah. in his that's apartment. That's all I do, man. He's like, he's like ah, ah, I will say this, ah. he's, he has mastered this. You know, whatever this is. If everyone I've seen, he's the best at it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's great. Yeah, well, exactly. This is a very useless talent. Like, yeah. what's he going to do with this skill? Why even master this? Such a fucking dipshit. <laughs> yeah, uh, like, we, like we need, uh, the plane's going down. We need someone to swallow a ball and spit it back up. <laughs> Hurry up. Um, the album, Ram. Is out now. Hey. Wheeler Walker Jr.'s great title fifth again. We thank you so much. Um, um, <laughs> I always a pleasure to see you guys. We love you. Love you too. Tour. Don't have the dates yet. Spring tour. But you can get tickets when they do come out at Wheeler Walker. Wheeler Jr. dot com. Dot com. Um, <laughs> you're gonna take us out on a song. Oh, and oh, the song cool. is. Let's do uh, Fuck This Job. Fuck This yeah. Job. Yeah, okay. I love that uh, one. Go ahead and, yeah, just grab your, oh, here you go. Chad's going to help out. Smart Chad. He knows he knows uh, guitars, too. Yep. Oh, yeah. He said G was his favorite chord. Mm, G for Ghana, his favorite place to vacation. Good place. G for gay. <laughs> G is for gay. Mm -hmm. Gay Chad. Mm -hmm. That's so gay. <laughs> I'm trying to find a way to engage. All right, so Wheeler Walker Jr. is taking us out. Go ahead and uh, mute our mics, and we'll see you guys next week. Thank you. This nine to five can suck my cock. I'd rather eat shit than punch that clock. Monday through Friday is a hassle. Everybody here is an asshole Today's the day I grow some balls Stop jacking off in the bathroom stall And blowing my load in the sink And tell them what I really think Fuck this job, fuck you boss Fuck your profit and fuck your loss Fuck you Linda at the front desk too the guy in the mail room Fuck you, this whole company can slob my knob Fuck all y'all, fuck this job. Without me here, this place is screwed. Y'all don't know half the shit I do. I should have understood from the get go. I ought to be running this shit hole. P.S. I pissed in the coffee pot. Took a big dump in the parking lot. Hit a dildo in the drawer. Kiss my ass, I'm out the door. Fuck this job, fuck you boss Fuck your profit and fuck your loss Fuck you Linda at the front desk too Guy in the mail room Fuck you, this whole company can slap my knob Fuck all y'all, fuck this job I'm off to chase my dreams Crush more pussy than you've ever seen I guess what I really mean Fuck this job, fuck you boss Fuck your profit and fuck your loss Fuck you Linda at the front desk too Guy in the mail room Fuck you, this whole company can slap my knob Fuck all y'all, fuck this job Fuck all y'all, fuck this job Woo! Thank you very much You're such a talent. You're so Thank good. you so I much. I love that song. Hey, you just watched an episode of your mom's house. I hope you enjoyed it. And if not, watch another one. Maybe you'll like that one. They're everywhere. Look, I don't know. Replace them in like cubes or, or squares or whatever this is. Just click another one. And maybe you'll find one you like. Or someone will get hurt and everybody likes that. Don't forget to subscribe.